Hi everyone, I thought we would have a bit of fun today and I'm going to put my entire makeup on with vegetables. It's a little bit uh, tight under the eyes, it, um, it's not particularly soft. Now uh, I noticed that the spring onion uh, doesn't work quite as well as uh, my under eye brush. It does leave some marks there, so we may need to use the leaf of the spring onion. And it, it does make your eyes water a fraction as well. <sighs> I might just need to wipe the tears out of my eyes now. Can't get my broccoli. Oh, a bit of broccoli on my face. I'm not sure if broccoli is the right tool. Oh, smells really nice though. Uh, it's very cooling under the eyes when you've used spring onions to put your concealer on though, I, I must say. Now my first impression of the cauliflower to use as your uh, blusher brush is that it doesn't necessarily apply the blusher particularly evenly, I've noticed. Notwithstanding that it's slightly blotchy, um, that's not a bad application of blush. The asparagus uh, needs a lot of eyeshadow in order to function, it would seem. It needs quite a lot of eyeshadow in order for it to function, it would appear. Be prepared to go through a fair bit of product when using your asparagus. Uh, the green bean is not very good for picking up colour. Oh, no, maybe it is. It actually feels very soft in application. You know, it's not harsh. It's not scratchy. It's not quite as precise as I would have hoped it could be. You use the baby broccoli to very delicately blend in your colour. And you can see that the baby broccoli uh, is very soft on the skin. Oh, got a bit of broccoli on my face and my eye. I have one eye darker than the other it seems. But that's okay, you know, variety is the spice of life. To make sure that you don't go beyond uh, the edges of your eyes, you can always apply a sweet pea to the edge and it's a beautiful stencil when it, look at that, see what I mean? See? See? Look at that. Sharp as a pin. Beautiful. Oh, a bit of broccoli on my eye. I think I've got a bit of cauliflower somehow on my eye. With a gel eyeliner, you need a brush. The best brush that you can use is a piece of celery. And of course, I can use my sweet pea uh, stencil as well if I, if I need to. You can see how important and how valuable the pea stencil is because of course it grabbed that excess for me. Bless its little cotton socks. Not for beginners. Not for beginners. Uh, the celery brush is, uh, is only for really accomplished eyeliner application people. Now I considered this in some depth as to what was the best vegetable tool for the application of mascara uh, and I came to the conclusion that the Probably the best, without doubt, for mascara is in fact a uh, carrot. I am using the carrot to pick up the mascara. You can see I'm using the edge of the carrot. I must say, that's one eye. That's not bad, actually. Better than I thought it was going to be. You need to be careful that you don't poke yourself in the eye with the carrot, of course. Not quite as precise as I would have hoped for. And particularly with the lower lashes, it's not the best tool that you could apply. I wonder if the hairy end of a spring onion. Uh, however, bearing in mind that the spring onions uh, did make my eyes water, probably not a good choice either. I'm going to use the bean to clean up underneath this eye here, uh, because I've Got a bit of excess mascara there that I don't want. Actually, that's really good because it's smoking out the mascara and gives me a bit of a smoky eye look. Oh, might actually try that. Now, it's very important when you use your sweet pea uh, to apply your lip colour that you don't use the end that is attached to the plant with the little flowery bit because that won't get you anywhere. A little bit of practice required, but it is fantastic in that it has dual options of the pointy bit at the end and the rounded bits there. So, it, you know, and you could blot it as well with the side of the sweet pea if you chose to do so as well. So, fantastic tool for the application of uh, lipstick. <laughs> Please subscribe and join the Look 10 Years Younger team. You'll find the subscribe button that looks like this and you'll find it down there. And when you click on it, poof, it 
magically changes and now it'll look like that. If you click on the little bell button that's in there, it'll bring up a new window. And if then if you click on the button that says send me all notifications from this channel, every time I upload a video, it'll be first in your subscription feed so you can stay up to date with me. I love sharing videos with you. So you can find my last video here and you can find another great video from me down there. I upload every Monday and every Thursday, so let's stay in touch. So that's been another video from me to you. I look forward to seeing you in my next video. So until then, bye from me.